So here in part one, I'll show you inside Enos Gingrich's outdoor furniture shop. Enos lives in North Carolina and belongs to a Swartz and Trooper Amish church, which is basically the most conservative Amish group. So in the video, Enos shows us around his shop and some of the furniture he makes. This visit was a lot of fun. We had some laughs with Enos. My brother's along here too. And later in part two, I'll show you the tools that Enos uses to make his furniture and how he powers them as a plain conservative Amish person. Be sure to check that out as well. So let's check out Enos's shop. So this is the workshop back here. This is where it all gets made, right? Yeah. And this will be moving over to the other building you said? Yeah. Okay. You guys used to live in that building, now you built the new house, and now that's going over? We used to live in this part right here. You used to live in this part right here? Mm -hmm. Where the shop is now, yeah. when you first For started? about six months. I see. When I got that finished over there, we moved in it, and then uh, we built that house and moved over there. Up on the, yeah. up on the hill. That's the last time. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so too. That's a lot of that's a lot of building and moving, huh? Yeah. So you didn't have a lot of space. No building here when we bought it. It was just the old growed up apple orchard forty five years ago. Really? <laughs> and you had to take out a lot of the trees or well, how was that? Yeah, we bought it from took out most of the trees and stuff, especially in this opening here out here you mind if i just take from that area really be, uh, sure so that's the that was that was apple orchard and stuff in this part yeah gotcha so this has got what's this building going to be when you're done with it well i'm planning on making the stakes in here tree stakes tree stakes or, or that's me about. what they call them i reckon is uh, they use them for different things okay trees braise them up to make them grow straight and uh, my plans was to use it for to store the furniture, but it's kind of changed. So. <laughs> gotcha. Do you want to just tell me about each of the pieces? I'll, we could just take a look at them, and then I could. Yeah. I'll, I'll just I'll just film the pieces, and you can just so people know what they are. So this so this right here, this is a. Uh, or where do you want to start here? A picnic table right there. Okay. Picnic table, what's wood is that and what's the? Uh, that one is a six foot. That's actually the standard only size I make. It's... And then that's a five foot high back glider and a four foot. Okay. And then the bench tables there at the end. All right. And back there, I got the Adirondack chairs. So the Adirondack. It's all stuff that's ready to put together back there. It's just not. All the parts back there. Okay. The pieces back there in front of the shop. Porch swings are over here. And you got porch swings right here. What's your What's your biggest seller, or what would you say people like the most? Uh, used to the low back gliders like these here was the okay. best seller, but anymore. These right here? Yeah, like the four and five foot and the chairs. They kind of glide right there, like that. Anymore, I don't really know. Since we moved out here, it's not a lot of difference. Both of it sells about the same. Mm -hmm. This year, I'm selling more picnic tables than I've sold in a several years. Gotcha. Okay. Huh. You got you do some skiing up here too, huh? Nah, <laughs> it's not very apt. <laughs> <laughs> is that for Cherry Mountain over here, or is that? No, oh, the okay. kids they've tried it a little, but we ain't much of skiers. <laughs> I see. I see. Well, have them handy just in case. All right. There's. Okay. This there's your card. And this is my brother-in-law's card. He's making leather. Okay. This is Henry Miller. Okay. Henry oh, Miller. A, okay. That's a new one. He just moved in. And here's a new prize sheet, which was the lumber prizes. These prizes are liable to change any any day. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> so this is gliders. Okay. 
Whoop, this is a little, okay, that'll be. It's kind of. It's your glider process right now. Yeah. Okay, and then this is, there's your information right there. So you got the sons on board too, right? Yeah. Who's, who's the hardest worker in the family? I don't know. Both of them work about the same. <laughs> the oldest one, he's more to go at it and try to get it get it done quick. <laughs> okay. Always has good results? Uh, pretty good. Pretty he good. Sometimes he gets a little too fast on it, and he might get a screw sticking out somewhere. So. Sure. <laughs> that that's why you're here for quality control, right? I tried to. <laughs> <laughs> he does good though. I can't complain. So you have most, a photo album here. Most of this is what's in here. Like that's the bench table. It makes a bench actually. So these are all photos that people have sent people you. People that bought furniture and sent photos of it. Gotcha. I remember Emmanuel had a something yeah. similar for his his indoor furniture. Okay, right there is the swivel glider. I which see. Somebody bought it and stained it. Hmm. So down here's the swivel that it kind of, yeah, just can turn. Mm -hmm. It turns so it swivels yeah, and glides. Yeah, you can swivel okay. all the way around. That was just the, somebody made them a trellis and uh. they put that. You got about swing, five swings, I think. Look at that. And eight foot sections. That's a nice uh, setup in a little fire pit there, yeah? Yeah. I made a few of them. I didn't make a lot okay. of them. And this is, uh, That's okay. The swivel gliders and the table swivels. Mm -hmm. The tables also swivel there. Mm -hmm. I see. And yeah, they have... I started, this was the first when I built. I make them a little different. I make every piece separate, or I can build it together. But. Okay. And you got the cup holders built in there, too. Yeah. I think I remember that from last time. Yeah, I think I probably had it in here. And I had, well, I think um, you maybe, yeah, it had to say 2019 on the photo there. So that's be... uh, just a regular fan back glider. Okay. See a chair, and I make them double four foot or. It's, that's, that's the stain that's the, the stain guy they put on it. Some little one, okay. Mm -hmm. Looks nice. Mm -hmm. That's the Arbors. I don't have any together. I got two sitting here. I see. How long does it take you to put together an Arbor like that? Uh, start to finish? It would take a day probably from start to finish just to do one. Okay. I like to cut out at least five if I... Go ahead. You're right, you want to batch it. So this is, what is this here? This is a swivel glider, fan back. It's different from an Adirondack with the... Yeah, I made my own pattern on this. So it's just a little changes here and there. Mm -hmm. It's not, I like it, it kind of has like a curve to it. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, I'm supposed to get one together. It's a guy coming after it this evening. So. Okay, so he's coming soon, huh? Yeah, he said he'll be before dark. So, so you may need to run us <laughs> out of here soon, huh? Nah, I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, good deal. We'll get another shot of the shop here. Anything else in there that we should see, or is that? There's a swing bed. I don't build a lot of them, mainly oh, wow. by orders. Swing bed. So you put a mattress yeah. on there? Yeah, it's a twin huh. mattress. So does that go outside? I, I don't even know where they put them. There's a big uh, <laughs> porch won't really hold them. So. <laughs> you need a huge porch for that, wouldn't you? Especially if you get swinging. Yeah. I know one guy, he's got a deck and a pool. He's got a kind of covered spot, but he put that in. Okay. So, yeah, well, that's the first time I've ever heard of a swing bed. Uh, why not? <laughs> I yeah. guess. Them, I usually don't keep them in stock. It's sure. Just, just so you, whenever. You, you keep you in stock, you're going to keep the Adirondack chairs? I try to. Now, I run out of stuff all the time. Just like right now, I don't have to 
high back glider chairs like okay these okay you don't, I have, don't have them okay well that's got a nice I got them cut out but i ain't got them together gotcha gotcha and same with the fan back stuff i don't have any of that together i got it ready but it's just like these, like here. these here i got you or i make them that swivel or just glide so. who buys your uh it's stuff? a couple of stores that buys it and okay then there's a few customers that shows up most of them most of it's going for resale you, yeah, you sell resale like wholesale to the yeah, stores wholesale. and stuff okay and then but if so, someone shows up you, you can also sell like a re- oh, those are the retail yeah. prices you showed us yeah and these right these are cup holders or yeah okay they're just attached to uh yeah they attach to this back here i got some that goes on the low back cheers and i can i see going like that and that'll hold my uh my my my, my pepsi uh, this is Mm-hmm. Just like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice. on there. Gotcha. So you got your drink secure. Nice. So it's not going to fly off here when you get it gliding too hard. No, it should. Unless <laughs> <laughs> you turn the chair over. <laughs> it could happen, I guess. <laughs> could you? Could you? I think people might be curious. Would you show me how how you make this, or not how you make it, but just. Should, can we take a look at your tools real quick? Yeah. Just take a quick peek. Yeah. Okay. Because you you run it off of.